<laughs> Shabbat Shalom, kids! <laughs> and welcome to your Torah Adventure Library! <laughs> I'm out of town, and each Sabbath, we'll go on amazing adventures together with our favorite librarian, Miss Elsie. So gather around, gather around, and get ready for story time with Miss Elsie! <laughs> Thanks, Olive Tav. Hey kids, it's Miss Elsie again, and we've got a new story today. It's called, What Happens When I Talk to God by Stormy O'Martian. But today I have a special helper who's going to help me read the story. My dear friend, Ori. That sounds great, Miss Elsie. Thank you. I just love Bible stories. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. What Happens When I Talk to God by Stormy O'Martian. Talking to God is called prayer. God wants us to talk to Him all the time. That's why I try to talk to Him every day. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Every day is the perfect day to pray. God likes it when I talk to Him. That's because He loves me and wants to spend time with me. He likes to hear that I love Him too. So when I talk to God, I always tell Him how much I love Him. I say, I love you, God. Every time I talk to God, I'm getting to know Him better. God wants every single person to talk to Him and get to know Him. This is something I can do every day, wherever I am. Another way I get to know God is by reading my Bible or listening to Bible stories. God gave us His Word, the Bible, so we can learn more about Him. The Bible tells us how to pray and talk to God. I say, Thank you, God, for the Bible. The Bible says that God wants me to thank Him for all the good things in my life. Having a family who loves me and takes care of me is definitely a good thing. I can thank God for my mom and dad, brothers and sisters, grandparents and cousins, for everyone in my family. I can also thank God for my friends and for all the people who love me. I say, thank you, God, for everyone you have put in my life for me to love. God wants us to thank Him for all the wonderful things He has given us. So I thank Him for the clear blue sky, the soft green grass, and the fluffy white clouds. I thank Him for the blowing wind, cool rain, and warm sunshine. I thank Him for the big trees and colorful flowers for high mountains and deep oceans, for everything God made. I say thank you, God, for giving me healthy food to eat and clean water to drink. Thank you for a warm place to live and a cozy bed to sleep in every night. Thank you for my favorite toys and places I can go to play. When I pray, I can't wait to thank God for all of the huggable lovable creatures he has made. I also thank him for creatures that might not make good pets, but are still fun to look at and learn about. Like elephants, giraffes, bears, tigers, eagles, dolphins, and whales. Every animal on land, every fish in the water, and every bird in the sky is a special creation given up to us by God. I say, thank you God and cats, horses, and rabbits, birds, and hamsters, and all animals I can pet and love. Thank you for every wonderful animal you have made. What is a friend? A friend is someone who talks to you and cares about you. God wants me to talk to him because he is my friend. And friends always talk to each other. You can't be friends with someone you never talk to. That's why talking to God every day is so so important. My favorite thing about talking to God is that I can talk to him about anything. God wants me to tell him about the things that matter to me. That's because anything I care about, he cares about too. Whatever is important to me is also important to God. I say, thank you, God, that you are my friend and I can tell you everything. I can talk to God about good things but I can also talk to him about bad things. 
He wants to know when something makes me happy, and he also wants to know when something makes me sad. That way he can help me. God listens to me, and he always understands just how I feel, and I feel better after I talk to God. I say thank you, God, that I can talk to you about anything. God always hears me pray, no matter where I am. I can talk to him when I'm under the covers in bed, and he also listens to me when I'm soaking in the bathtub. I can talk to God when I'm inside playing with my toys or when I'm outside playing ball. He hears me when I'm jumping, running, or walking, or even when I'm sitting somewhere eating ice cream. God hears me when I'm talking to him, standing up, or kneeling down, or lying in bed. I say, Thank you, God, that you are always there for me. God listens to me any time of the day or night. I can talk to him in the morning, after I get up, or in the afternoon when I am playing. I can even talk to him at night when the only light I see comes from the moon and the star. God likes for me to before I eat so I can thank him for my food. He also loves to hear my bedtime prayers right before I go to sleep. I also always thank him for my day. I say thank you, God, that you never sleep and you are always watching over me. Thank you that you hear me any time I pray. Sometimes I talk out loud to God, but he also hears me when I pray my softest whisper. whisper. He can even hear me when I'm talking silently to him, when the words are only in my head. When I say or think, Words like, thank you, God, or help me, God. I can always be sure he hears them. The Bible says that he does and believe, and I believe his word. I say, thank you, God, that you can hear me even when I'm talking softly, even when I'm talking to you in my mind. Every time I pray, I listen to, I li God listens to and accepts my prayer no matter what what kind of prayer it is. I can pray a short prayer or a long prayer. I can pray a prayer I learned in church or I can make up my own prayer. I can also pray alone or with other people. God says that praying with other people is very powerful. I can also pray for others and I can ask him to pray for me. Sometimes everyone can pray together about something that is important to them. Praying for other people is one way I can share God's love with them. I say, Dear God, help me pray for other people as often as I can. God watches over me and sees everything I do. He always wants me to do the right thing, but he still loves me even if I do something wrong. And no matter what, he always wants to hear from me. If I talk to God about what I did wrong and tell him I'm sorry, he's happy to forgive me. He promises he will always forgive me if I ask him to. And then he will help me learn to do the right thing. I say, God helps me to always remember to obey my parents and obey you too. Jesus is God's son. He came to earth so everyone can know more about God. When he was living on earth, Jesus talked to God too. And he said that God loves little children very much and that they can always talk to God because they are special. Men. God told, Jesus told people, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. That's why I always end my prayers with the words, in Jesus' name I pray. This doesn't mean that God will always give me everything I ask for, but if it's something good he wants me to have, he will give it to me. I say, thank you, Jesus, for answering my prayers. Each time I pray, I believe that God hears me and he will answer my prayers, but I need to trust God to answer in his own way and whenever he wants to. Sometimes this is hard to do. So maybe someone special to me is sick and I want them to get better right away. Or there's something I really want and I don't like waiting for it. It always helps 
to remember that my job is to pray. God, God's job is to answer my prayer. So I need to do my job and let God do his job. I say, God help me to wait patiently for you to answer my prayers. I may be just a child, but my prayers have power because I am valuable to God. Even though children are small, their prayers are big in God's eyes. My prayers are so important to God that when I pray, He always He always comes closer to me. I like being close to God. That's why I talk to Him every day. I say, thank you, God that you are close to me right now and you love to hear me pray. Thank you, little Ori. All right, kids, we have a memory verse today. It's found in Philippians 4, 6. Are you ready? Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Philippians 4, 6. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. All right, until next time. See you again. Have a Torah Adventure Week. Shabbat Shalom, kids. Shabbat Shalom. Bye. Milo, Milo. Milo, I've got Milo for all of time. Well, here's your Milo all of time. Agent all of time. You are needed again to solve another mystery. Please report to headquarters for your mission as soon as possible. <laughs> wow! That all of time sure is fast. Mayo! Mayo! I've got Mayo! Mayo! Boys and girls, Olive Tav was sent on a secret mission. We'll hear about it next week. So in the meantime, watch for clues. Olive Tav will be sending them from his adventures. So make sure you're subscribed to our Sar Shalom Ministries channel. That way you'll receive notifications when a new video is posted. Pay close attention. Clues can show up anywhere on any day. See you next week.